Bro, you're you're burning sage. Yeah, yeah, he's smudging your. You're hair. shaking. Yeah. You're so scared. You're shaking. It's the spirit of cowardness. Your whole thing. Sage has no power over me. Hey, buddy. And I bless you. And I bless you. Hey, buddy. Quote something that's not the Bible. That's what I got on that. I'm just gonna say that outright right now. I am a lesbian. I don't know why I am this way. I've always been this way. I have tried so hard to change this about myself, but nothing has helped. And despite all that, do you think Jesus still loves me or he would let, let me into the kingdom of heaven? Do you Jesus Put wants to save you. Mic. Jesus Put wants to save you. Jesus wants to save you. Put down the mic. Okay. And I'm telling you, you can be saved by believing in him. The anointing has drawn you here today. All right. God loves you, bro. Jesus loves you. He died for you, gave his life for you. Yeah. Do you believe in Jesus? Hey, I appreciate you, man. That you confess the truth, bro. Hey, God bless you. Need prayer for anything, man? I'm glad you're here. Father, in Jesus' name, bless this man. Thank you for him coming into agreement with the truth. God bless you, friend. Jesus taught love, not hate. I just think it's weird how you're out here preaching hatred at a place where people clearly don't want you to be, but instead you could be using that time to help the poor or help the homeless or help people. I just told you that I do. You. So why why are why are you sitting here saying I don't do something I don't do? It's not everybody. Yeah, you can't just assume me under that. You can't do that. You just can't do that. He didn't spend all of his time talking about sex and immorality. He also went around healing people. Absolutely. So why aren't you doing that? Why aren't you volunteering, using this time to volunteer like a hospital or something or a food bank? You know, to serve Who says I don't do them things? Well, I just think it's funny that you're not doing that and you're instead you're using this time See, to preach. If, you, if, your eye, if, you, if your eyes were opened, you would see that many here are homeless. They don't have a home because my home is heaven. And you, your home is not there yet because you don't believe in Jesus. He says, I go and prepare many homes for you. I See, the reality is, is that if many of you who die in this sin, Why your home will be hell for eternity. Who are you to assume that I don't believe in Jesus? Woo who are you to assume that? You don't know me. And let me ask you this. I'll tell you right now. Do you believe in homosexuality? Do you think it's okay? Yeah, as long as it's consensual and no one gets hurt. But I also believe that we should love each other and love, each, love our neighbors as ourselves. That's what Jesus said. Do you believe the Bible is the word of God? I think it's, oh, yeah, I think it's the word of God to a certain extent. I can acknowledge its historical impact and the impact it's had on people. I think it can be used to for pe by people to help find comfort in difficult times, but I'm not going to go around and say, oh, you can't do that because I don't like it. I hear you. You know, I, I, I work in healthcare and I see people all the time from all different walks of life. I see people that are suffering and it's if that's what brings them comfort in that time, then that's great. And at the end of the day, I'm just there to provide a service. I'm not there to preach a certain pathway. I'm there to help them. And that's what Jesus was. He was there to help people that were suffering and people that were exiled because they were seen as sinners. He didn't care about anyone's sexuality or anything. He was there to help them. That was it. Without sin, cast the first stone. Exactly. Do you know the next scripture after that? Pray for you? Absolutely not. Do you know the next scripture after that? Hey, I want to answer back her though because you're not. You're trying to argue. I would actually. I would actually like to talk to you. What's up, dude? Dear Lord, I hope you heal this man's hateful heart. No, 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 no. We don't need any more Lord shit. No, 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 no. There's no space for religion here. Religion spews hate. You are here spewing hate. No physical. You can talk to him. You got physically. I didn't physically. I appreciate that, bro. Hey, I I appreciate that very much, sir. Thank you. Okay. There's no space for it here. They can bring in hate. It's not allowed here. For everybody. Okay. I don't want hate here. All right, man. Okay, I, I hear you, bro. Okay, I hear you. move along. That's your opinion. You've been Keep here it for moving. Hours. Move you can along. do the same. I haven't been here for hours. I've been here for like 45 minutes. Okay, and we've been waiting for. Now I'm, I'm going to respond to you. I'm going to respond to you because I, I would like to, but I just keep getting interrupted. Um, so if the Bible is the word of God, and I was to show you a couple scriptures that was written in the Bible, and that Jesus said Himself and the apostles, would you be willing to turn from that viewpoint and turn to the truth? No. I don't know because there's a lot of other things in the Bible that have been you that Jesus said that have been used to hurt other people and that have been and the name of God has been used for hatred even the Nazis believed that what they were doing was the word of God by killing the Jews now anyone can misrepresent anything right so here's the thing um, you know the reality is this the Bible has also helped many people to not kill people because we know the Ten Commandments literally come from God thou shalt not kill listen thou shalt not murder thou shalt not steal thou shalt not commit adultery right 
So what I'm trying to tell you is the Bible has actually done way more good than bad. To control Inspired by the Holy Spirit. You're being controlled. You know, Jesus be, was a human. In, he was God in he the flesh. He was also Jewish. He was, oh, what are yeah. you saying? Jesus was a Middle East. What's the point? There, there was religion before yours. All right, I'm going so to adjust my actually once here. Yours is correct. So now, in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9, it does say that homosexuals will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. Good. Romans chapter 1. Want it. Well, it also says adulterers as well. Absolutely. Or why? Or I agree with you. People, so that, why is it? And what, what precisely do you do to be godly? <laughs> In your community. Yeah, are your you religion is, the is responsible for billions of deaths. Children? Now, that. two things here. Number one, I'm going to tell you right now that we do. Number two, I'm going to tell you the reason why I don't come out here proclaiming that and I don't go out here screaming it like, oh, I'm such a good person, You're is screaming. simply because you said no man is good. You're no, You're screaming. But I'm not screaming. You brought your own amplification. You just took what I said out of context. Joke, I, and it doesn't matter because I can be louder. Hey, we can be your louder amplification too. doesn't yeah, matter. We can mm -hmm. talk too. Mm -hmm. Put down the mic. Yeah. We Jesus can save you, friend. I was having a mic. Jesus wants to save you, friend. Put down the mic. Put down the mic. Jesus wants to save you. Jesus wants to save you, Mike. Jesus wants to save you. Jesus wants to save you. Jesus wants to put down the mic. I just want to say something. What you guys are doing right here is not helpful. Okay? I understand. This isn't fucking helpful. This is hurtful. That, but unfortunately, I don't think what you're doing is making any progress either. Okay, I'm just trying to have you. Wow. Wow, man. We need to ignore everyone else here and leave. I don't agree with you. I don't agree with you. Why are you saying that? Actually, she's right. She's right. Nobody engage him anymore. Everyone leave. Nobody engage him. Sequester him off. Don't engage him. He's an idiot. All right, I pray you're he's listening been, to your own he's advice. He's been reading an ancient book written by humans to control well, people's he entire memorized. life. So he must be right. And he thinks well, it's well, real. If I thought my comic yet. books were real, they'd probably think I was crazy. Learn fiction from reality. Uh-huh. Look at his shirt anyway. Yeah, just look at his shirt, man. Yeah. You're right, you're right, man. Look at his shirt. Look at my shirt. Be born again. You gotta love those virgin John old chapter 3, verse 3. Unless you're born again, you won't inherit the kingdom of God. Go get help. All right. Go get help, my man. Go get help. You're the one that seems... Brother, you're, you, you have a spirit of anger and you need to repent, man. Jesus can save you from that, man. Jesus can save you from that. Jesus doesn't save you. So, well, God bless you. I, pre I appreciate you today uh, in, in a talk with you, but I do want to let you know that um, I know the Bible has been used for all different types of things, but I'm letting you know that Jesus does uh, obviously do away with sexual morality altogether. And that love thy neighbor. Absolutely, but love does not rejoice in iniquity. It rejoices in the truth, according to Corinthians. I, I, have a, I actually have a legitimate question for you. Okay. So, I was baptized when I was an infant. Obviously, I had no say in the matter. Um, I, you know, I, I consider myself a good person. Like I said, I work in healthcare. I donate blood whenever I can, um, even though I absolutely despise the thought of having a needle in my arm. But if it means saving someone's life, I'm like, grow for it. Um, I volunteer uh, to help. You know, at soup kitchens, I try to give away, you know, money when I can, especially to those who need it, um, especially since I come from a somewhat wealthy family, and I was always taught that you should be loving and especially kind to those who, you know, are not as fortunate as you. And, you know, I also, I vote, and also, I'm gay. I'm just going to say that outright right now. I am a lesbian. I don't know why I am this way. I've always been this way. I have tried so hard to change this about myself, but nothing has helped. And despite all that, do you think Jesus still loves me or he would let, let me into the kingdom of heaven? Do you think if I die and I come to the pearly gates of heaven and he looks at me and he's like, oh, yeah. How you do you feel about him? How do I feel about Jesus? Yeah. You do not need to change one thing about you. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Now, would they say the same thing to a murderer? Would they say the same thing to a rapist? Would you say the same thing to a rapist? Let me ask you this. I'm not a rapist, though. I know, I know, I know but I'm just... If you accept the word of God into your heart, do you go to heaven? Why the fuck? If you accept Jesus into your heart and you follow him, you'll go to heaven. If you follow him. I can't tell you exactly. Jesus is the ultimate judge. He's the ultimate judge. I can't tell you that. That's okay. I'm be it's freedom of speech. Thank you. Are you a Christian, bro? Yeah. Do you agree with what I'm saying? What did you say? It's about Jesus being the way, the truth, and the life, man. You can be saved by him. I feel like, I feel like, yes, Jesus, I mean, Jesus is like the over, but God is, God is over Jesus, you know what I mean? God's the one that sent Jesus down to, uh, 
for our sins, you know what I'm saying? So, personally, I think you're somewhat right, but God's the ultimate judge. Are you Jehovah Witness? No, I'm I'm Baptist. I'm Baptist. Okay. So you believe in the Bible, though? Okay. So Jesus did claim to be God. Revelation chapter 1, verse 8. He did say, I'm the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Uh, Jesus was God in the flesh. He's part of the triune of God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. They're all equal. And Jesus said in seven, John 17, verse 5, that he went back to share in his glory with the Father. Molested in the church. Where was God then? I'm telling you to leave. I'm you to the streets. They can eat. I'm not saying you have to leave. I'm not saying you have to cross the street. They just want to eat. All they need to do is just cross the street. So you have to start with their dining. I, res I respect that. I respect. I will cross the street. Appreciate it. I will cross the street. Yes, sir. I'll cross the street away from those who are eating. Okay. I'll go right there and proclaim my freedom of speech. What's up? What do you have to say for all of the churches here that are here in support of pride and are saying that Jesus loves everyone? It's not restricted to just a certain demographic. What do you have to say to the churches that are here today? Now, I'm not going to quote my own opinion. I'm going to quote the Bible. Okay. The Bible does say that false teachers will have it worse than those who are actually just ignorant. Okay. And they are false teachers. And the, the Bible actually tells us as Christians in 2nd and 3rd John not to even bid them Godspeed. Meaning, don't even, it says don't even greet them or let them into your house because they're leading people astray. Okay. It's like this. If I see a car incoming, right, and you're about to walk in front of the car, and I see that car coming, I should warn you, right? Right. If you don't see it. Well, that's love. But they're saying to you, well, the car's coming, just keep on walking, it's okay. And then you get hit by a car and you're done. So that's all I'm saying is that, you know, uh, the fact of the matter, I'm warning people of the danger to come, and it's the fear of the Lord that's the beginning of wisdom, and that Jesus can save you if you're in that lifestyle, and you, what you said was a very, uh, I understand that, that you feel that you were born this way. Can I give you this bracelet? What, is, what does it say? John chapter 3, verse 3, born again. That's okay, I'm fine. Okay. okay. Thank you. Well, um, John chapter 3, verse 3 does say that if you're born again, you can inherit the kingdom of God, of the water and of the spirit. Okay. And... Basically, Jesus said that you can receive a new nature, and this nature gives you the capacity to defeat sin. Uh -huh. If that's what's helped you overcome those boundaries, I think that's fantastic. And as somebody who has also overcome addiction and stuff like that, I think that's great. But also, what might work for you is not what might work for everybody else, or the, at least that approach. And, and, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you guys very much. Please, if they start harassing me, I would be very appreciate if you helped me. Hey, God bless you. What's your name? Fiona. Fiona. Well, God bless you. I really appreciate your time, and I appreciate you sticking up for me. You know what? I pray God honors that, and Father, I pray that you help her. And again, I don't sure. to put everything you're saying, but at the end of the day, you still have a right to be here. You know, obviously, it's not, you know, again, I don't agree with it, but the First Amendment, you know, all that stuff. In the same way that, you know, if I were out here saying, you know, I love women, and somebody came up to me and started attacking me, I would be I'm like, that's not okay. So. I appreciate your honesty. Thank you. Yeah. God bless you, okay? Again, good on you for Thank getting you. clean. I, I, I do admire that about you. I really hope wow. And, and she, she can, uh, I'm telling you now that if you do turn to Jesus, though, okay. he will save you. Okay. God bless you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Right. I will go right here. They're following me, sir. I mean, this is crazy. So now it's on them. Okay. Now it's crazy. They're okay. It's absolutely yeah. crazy. I got you. Stay here. over here. I got you. You're away from them eating. Just stay over here. Yeah, how about two, three blocks around? Okay. My friends, I come to you to proclaim the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ today. That if you believe in him, you can have everlasting life. I didn't come here to hate you. The world was condemned already, but Jesus came to save the world. I'm not out here preaching a hateful message. I'm here to tell you that Jesus can save you, my friends. He wanted to give his life for you. Jesus is the King of Kings, my friends, the Lord of Lords. Every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. And I'm telling you today that under the law, we all fall under judgment. Under the law, we are all condemned. The law was given to reveal the sin in man. But Jesus, through the law, leads you to himself. The law was a tutor to bring us to Christ. That when you see yourself through God's word, you can say, wow, I can't keep this. That's the point. He takes you to himself and he cleanses you and washes you and sanctifies you to the truth. That when you believe in him, he can save you, my friends. What does it mean to be saved? What do I mean by this? When you believe in him and receive him into your heart, he'll give you eternal life. And it's this eternal life that comes in and dwells your heart. And he begins to redeem you. 
What's redeem mean? It means that God paid a ransom price for you. He poured his blood out. He poured his blood out. And when he poured it out, he purchased you from a slave to sin to a slave to righteousness. That when you believe in him, you can be saved for eternity, my friends. Yeah, wait, can I say one thing? Yes, sir. Yeah. I respect that you're expressing yourself, but like this is like this is an event oh shit this is an event so like i feel like yeah yeah i feel like you should be more one-on-one -on -one personally because yes you're talking religion's a very uh, like sensitive topic to be talking about just no one needs religion you know what i mean how will anyone learn uh, fucking going to church yeah going to church reading the bible you know is a muslim or is a another person another religion ever going to come to a church what'd you say why would a Muslim would, or somebody of another religion, why would they come to synagogues and mosques? Well, that's what I'm saying. In the Bible, we well, know about where our relationship comes from. Our relationship comes from God, why Yahweh, is, right? Why is your religion so right? it's our job. Hundreds of religions. Bro, why is yours correct? Come on, man. Like, dude. He wants us to preach the gospel because it's the good news. The word gospel literally means glad tidings, good news. The good news is people can be saved from their sin and death. So that's why I'm preaching. They won't know. How, how else would they know what the preacher said? We, we, we don't believe in your sin. We don't believe anything we're doing is sinful. In fact, I believe what the Catholic Church has done over their history has been incredibly sinful. And they try does, to cover does a, it does a, does, a, does a person or a church represent the whole relationship the with God? No. Jesus represents the Father completely. He was the physical image of the invisible God. That he came to be the fullest expression of the Father, but he's the Son. And him and the, him and the Father shared in glory together, and he took off that glory and did not consider it robbery to come down into human flesh and die for us. You're a terrorist. Yeah. Bro, you're, you're burning sage. Yeah. You're so scared you're shaking. It's the spirit of cowardness. Your whole thing. Sage has no power over me. No, no one here can curse me. You know why? Numbers chapter 23, verse 23. Uh -huh. There's no sorcery against Israel. No divination against Jacob. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. No curse. Hey, buddy. And I bless you. And I bless you. Talk. Hey, buddy. Quote something that's not the Bible. The that's what I got on that. Talk. Have you read anything that's not the Bible? That's how I feel about sage, bro. I got no power over me. Experience. Hallelujah. Do you have any experience? Jesus is king. Do you have any experience? Jesus is king. haven't been at church? Witchcraft has no power over me. Get that stuff out of here. Jesus is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. And he came to present the truth that when you believe in him, you can have everlasting life. Jesus said in John chapter 14, verse 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but through me. Keep it, keep it on me. Remember, they can't hear him. Jesus is King. Hallelujah. The God of glory. That when you believe in him, you can have the resurrection of life. Hey! This is this is demons, Hell my friend. You ever, you've never seen demons before. It's here. Hell Satan. Yep. Hell Satan. Hell Satan. Hell Satan. Hell Satan. Jesus is king. Jesus is king. Hell Satan. Jesus is king.